Uh, I fly Blue Angel number five, the lead solo for 2011 Blue Angel. What the two solo pilots will demonstrate is the maximum performance capability of the Boeing F-18 Hornet, flying it really slow, really fast, uh, minus three Gs, positive eight Gs, and then uh, essentially showcasing that portion of what the Navy and Marine Corps can do airborne in airplanes. Uh, and then we'll all join up together at the end for more formation flying with the six airplanes flying together, showcasing uh, a lot of breakout maneuvers as a six ship and then uh, coming back into land. Just uh, an example of the Navy and Marine Corps pilots that are out there. We represent you know, 540,000 sailors and Marines deployed around the world, and we're just an example of what those people are. We're nothing uh, better or worse. We just try to showcase to the American public what their Navy and Marine Corps uh, personnel are doing around the world and doing it through an air show is our best Essentially, thing. after about five to six years of flying experience, you'll uh, put an application in and just kind of do a series of interviews with the team, and then uh, that's really how you get selected. It's more of a uh, keeping the team dynamic so close, you know, it's more people, you know, personalities meshing and all that, uh, mainly because we just, like I said, it's we're just a representative of what all the Navy and Marine Corps pilots are out there doing today. So to say we're anything special is is not really the case. We just happen to all get along, as I like to say. Uh, we're deployed over 280 days a year together, so that's kind of a key thing. It's almost like a big family, to be honest with you. Well, you know, I think the Blue Angels are, are, are important. Uh, the average taxpayer, the average American, does not get a chance to go out to an aircraft carrier, doesn't get a chance to ride an Amtrak, or see their men and women in uniform in action firsthand. So if the Blue Angels can drop into their backyard for a weekend, showcase and show them firsthand that pride and professionalism of the Navy and the Marine Corps, and that's a great, great way to give back. Because, they, because most most people just don't know what we do on a daily basis, so we want to show them. You know, the other part of our mission is, quite honestly, recruiting. Along the way, we want to inspire some young men and women uh, to hopefully pursue military careers. Uh, I want to show them what I do. My petty officers want to show them what they do on a daily basis to see, hey, you've got great opportunities in the military. You're going to lead a structured life. You're going to get a chance to lead. You're going to get a chance to get an education. And a lot of these folks will join the military. And this ensures that strong military 10, 15, and 20 years from now. It's very difficult to put a price tag on that. Uh, we're very proud to do it, uh, represent the Navy and the Marine Corps. But we're also very, very proud to ensure that the Navy and the Marine Corps is strong 20 or 30 years and what they offer is a, a very visible um, example of what our Navy is um, is capable of. I mean, every one of these pilots standing here it belongs to the fleet.